What is Taylor Swift doing about her private jet as Chris Packham hits out? Taylor Swift is currently in the UK on her much-hyped Eras tour. The Don't Blame Me singer has been traveling the world in private jets since the tour, which spans her 10 albums and 18-year career, kicked off in Arizona in the US in March 2023. In between shows she has made trips to to meet up with her boyfriend Travis Kels including a 12-hour flight from Tokyo to Las Vegas to support him at the Super Bowl. The 34-year-old singer previously owned two private jets which flew 178,000 miles in 2023 and has previously been named as the celebrity with the highest carbon footprint. She recently sold one of her planes. Now wildlife presenter Chris Packham has called on Swift to sell off her private jets and start taking commercial flights to travel. But the cruel summer singer is not unaware of the effects of her global air travel on the planet and has announced she is making efforts to offset her carbon footprint. According to digital sustainability consultancy Yard Taylor Swift had the highest carbon emissions of the celebrities they analyzed in 2022, before her era's tour had even begun. Swift made 170 documented flights that year the equivalent of 15.9 days in the air and producing a total flight CO2 emissions of 8293.54 tons. College student Jack Sweeney is a social media influencer who has made it his mission to track the carbon footprint of stars including tech billionaire Elon Musk and pop star Swift. He takes his data from a website which logs contributions from over 800 ADSB receivers. Swift's lawyers have sent him a cease and desist letter asking him to stop publishing her travel details accusing him of providing individuals intent on harming her or with nefarious or violent intentions a roadmap to carry out their plans. Sweeney revealed in a YouTube video, Swift's two private jets flew 178,000 miles in 2023 equivalent to flying around the Earth seven times emitting 1-200 tons of CO2 in the process. That's 83 times the average American. The Spring Watch presenter talked to the Mirror about Swift's legal battle with Sweeney. Packham said, so Sweeney called her out and she threatened to sue him. And I just thought, you really missed the trick there Taylor. What you should have said is, your right times have moved on. I've got to change my practice. I'm going to sell my private jets. The Shake It Off singer's representative has defended her private jet usage telling The Hollywood Reporter in 2022 that she often loans her private jet out to others so all of the trips made can not be attributed to her. They released a statement in February 2024 to AP saying, Taylor purchased more than double the carbon credits needed to offset all tour travel before the Eras tour started. Carbon offsets are sold by projects or initiatives that reduce or capture carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This could be through creating new natural ecosystems by planting trees for example or using carbon removal or carbon capture technologies. Individuals or corporations are not required to publicly disclose the sources of carbon offsets. The Blank Space Star's record label Universal didn't reveal where she had bought hers. An investigation on the Carbon Standard Body Vera published in 2023 claimed that 90% of carbon credits are worthless. Danny Cullen Ward a senior fellow at the University of Pennsylvania's Kleinman Center for Energy Policy said, the entire market is structured around a fundamental falsehood, that a ton of carbon we get from burning fossil fuels is identical to a ton of carbon stored in forests. That is 100% false. Coldplay were the forerunners in acknowledging the damage to the environment of touring. They first told the BBC in 2019 that they would not tour again until they could do it in a more sustainable way. The band then announced in 2021 they were embarking on a 12-point plan to cut the carbon footprint of touring by 50 per center. They recently announced they have beaten this target and successfully cut their carbon emissions by 59 per center during the first two years of their Music of the Spheres World Tour. Billie Eilish has taken steps to reduce the carbon footprint of her tour by cutting plastic waste through using refillable cups water filling stations at her shows. She has also made an effort to reduce carbon emissions and feature plant-based food options at venues. The What Was I Made For? Singer also uses solar-powered batteries on tour and produces her records using recycled vinyl and packaging. 
Jack Johnson has also taken the same steps to rescue plastic waste at gigs and donates $2 US dollars, 1 pound and 58 pence, from every ticket to carbon offset projects. And Pearl Jam gave invested $1 million US dollars, 788 pounds 000, in carbon credits for its Gigaton tour. Taylor Swift, what is the code to emissions controversy? Is her private jet bad? Combing so on .net 2 minutes read. Carbon offsets, Taylor's version, the New Republic 4 minute read. Taylor Swift themed London events to get you in the era's tour spirit, Evening Standard 2 minutes read. Taylor Swift tops list of celebs with highest private jet carbon emissions, Billboard 2 minutes read. Wow I just saw that whole thing says Swift after couple gets engaged at era's tour show. Reports that car is similar to one popularized by Donald Trump. She will now take the show on road to Liverpool where she will play three nights in a row at Anfield Stadium. Bad Boys, Ride or Die has put Will Smith back at the top of the box office two years after he slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. The summertime sadness singer 38 collaborated with Taylor on the 2022 duet Snow on the Beach. Since then Taylor's fame has exploded to new highs and she is currently in the midst of her era's world tour which is projected to earn over $2 billion, 1.5 billion pounds, and is already the highest grossing tour of all time. With the tour arriving in the UK this week the BBC asked Lana for her thoughts on Taylor's success and she replied she's told me so many times that she wants it more than anyone. I'm not as much into technique as I am into the emotion of it the popular songstress has said. Angela Merkel knew that Russia could attempt to blackmail Europe into launching a major gas pipeline but concealed the information according to Handelsblatt the German newspaper. Middle class families are fleeing Britain and heading to Spain in a bid to save thousands of pounds on school fees ahead of Labour's VAT raid. Comedy is currently number one in the streaming services charts. This morning presenter Alison Hammond has publicly shown her support for her former co-star Philip Schofield as rumors swirl that he could be set for a return to the broadcaster. 37-year-old updated fans on social media. US and Canadian officials are investigating after a 689-foot ship collided with an underwater object and began taking on water in Lake Superior the US Coast Guard says. Pet owners in England must have their cats microchipped under new laws introduced on June 10. Latest Manchester United news and gossip with the transfer window set to open next week. Dick Van Dyke made history at the 2024 Daytime Emmy Awards by becoming the oldest winner of a prize. The 98-year-old won a Daytime Emmy presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, NADAS, for his guest performance in Days of Our Lives over the weekend. The awards were presented across two ceremonies on Friday and Saturday night from the Westin Bonaventure Los Angeles. Van Dyke's show General Hospital took home the most awards with four gongs for Best Directing Best Re. Veteran movie star Dick Van Dyke has described his workout routine as his secret weapon. Man United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe has reportedly met Thomas Tuchel amid ongoing uncertainty surrounding Eric Ten Hag's future at the club. Viewers tuning into coverage on ITV immediately picked up on the issue and took to social media to make their thoughts known. Ms. Braverman told The Times, we need to in the future to find some way to work together because there shouldn't be big differences between us.